There we go. All right, so we are officially on. So, thank you for coming to my first Zoom class. It is called Why My Oils Rock. Um, my oils just rock. But before I get into that, let me start off with me. Um, for those of you that don't know who might be watching a replay of this, my name is EJ. I live in Stamford, Connecticut. I have a husband, two kids, and a dog. So for anybody worried about pets and oils, my dog is fine. I've got tons of numbers of cats um, and dogs, and these oils are good for pets. But not all oils, just my oils, because they rock. Okay, and um, <clears throat> I got Young Living Essential Oils in January, late January 2018. But prior to that, I was using essential oils that I bought on Amazon. I bought some on Zulily. I bought, I don't know. Oh, maybe Fairway. A um, bunch of these essential oils because I just wanted my house to smell nice. And so I tried diffusing them. I bought, again, like this random cheap diffuser on Amazon. And it wasn't replicating the smell that I smelled at my friend's house, who I later found out was using Young Living Oils. So I wanted to replicate that smell, but I don't know why. Maybe I was too proud to ask. Maybe I was too shy to ask. I didn't ask her, where did you get your oils? So I just tried to replicate it. I'm like, essential oils. I could find that on Amazon and it wasn't the same. And um, fast forward to January, 2018, I got this box in my life. And um, at the time it came with 11 oils, now it comes with 12. And I started diffusing them and I got that smell. This house smelled good, but that's really not the reason I got it. I got it to help me sleep. My friend gave it to me as one of the oils as a gift and it helped me sleep. So I thought, okay, let me just get these oils. Um, I just didn't know how life changing they would be at the time. So I know essential oils are a super trendy thing. Every store's got them. My friends have seen them at Bed Bath and Beyond. They've seen it at Whole Foods, you know, and retailers that they believe are reliable. But these retailers buy it from middlemen so they can't actually attest to the what's in those bottles um but young living the difference between these guys is they do everything from the sourcing to the testing to the bottling until it ends up on your doorstep so that's what they call the seed to seal guarantee now i'm going to talk about a lot of things in this zoom hopefully not too much to overwhelm you but a lot you don't have to commit what the 10 uses of peppermint are. You don't have to commit to memory, you know, what we use frankincense for. That stuff you can learn as you go along. But what you should commit to your memory is the seed to seal guarantee. This is why this is different from your Whole Foods essential oils. And Whole Foods is great for food. I mean, they've got some really quality, good organic produce. Um, they've got great... Um, you know, wild caught, I think it's one of the only places they sell like wild caught shrimp, you know, like that stuff's great, but they're essential oils. They don't have a department dedicated to making sure that those bottles that you buy are really what they say they are. Because in the United States, there only needs to be 5% of essential oil in a bottle for them to label it 100% pure. It makes no sense, but that's just the cosmetic laws the cosmetics industry and the personal care industry um, have those, have, I don't know, lobbyists or whatever to make those laws possible for us, which is mind blowing and just not right to the consumer. So um, the C C to seal guarantee really means that these oils, they ensure everything from this time, the plant is a seed and the way it's planted, what kind of, you know, land it's grown on to the time it's harvested because apparently you can't just go and harvest a plant and distill it and expect it to be perfect. Um, oh, I think that's my computer. Sorry, guys. Um, there are ideal times to distill and to harvest any given plant 
specific to that plant um, that makes the oils that come from it 100% potent the way you want it to be. That contains all the constituents to make that oil as powerful and as effective as possible for you. So Young Living knows all this. So they just really strictly have their farming processes down to a T for every single plant. And that's a lot of plants. Um, they also either own all their farms or partner, why is tree hopping in? Oh, okay. Um, they either own, let me mute it because we're gonna start hearing the, I'm gonna mute you tree, okay. Um, they either own all their farms or they have partner farms, which they pretty much treat like the ones they own, meaning the same type of st strict standards to ensure that everything is perfect to their, um, <clears throat> to their requirements. Um, and then they harvest it. As I mentioned, everything is harvested specific to that plant's ideal time. And then everything is distilled. And then during the distillation, every plant has to be distilled at slightly different lengths of time, temperatures, and they have all of that science to a T as well. And then they test it in-house and also by independent labs triple triplicate so it's not just a one test they really really make sure and if they even detect a little bit of something being off that stuff just gets sent back they do not put it in their bottles because they take their seed to seal guarantee so seriously and um in july i had the honor of going to um the convention the young living grand convention salt lake city utah and we heard from actual scientists actual farmers who take this stuff really, really seriously. It is not just some sort of term that's being thrown around. So if there's anything you're gonna to commit to memory during this Zoom, it's that the seed to seal stuff is the real deal. It's the difference. I mean, it's, it's the thing that makes all the difference. And um, Young Living's also very, very open about what they do. They believe in full transparency. So we are able to tour their farms. We can book a tour um, on most, if not all of their farms. And there's a website for that. I think it's like Young Living Farm Tours or something like that. I can look it up for you if you're curious. Um, and there is no other company, no other company that is to the scale of Young Living that has so much, and they're just opening it all up to us. So um, there is no other company that does that. You can call them. I mean, if you pick up a random bottle at a store, look for the phone number in the back and call them and ask, can I tour your farms? They're gonna be like, what, what farms? Because they do not have anything to do with the farms where their oils come from, whereas Young Living does. So that is really what I wanted to talk about. Oh, there we go, I dropped the, ah. I gotta get to look at my notes because I don't wanna go too long here. and spend that much time babbling on and on. But, so let's move on. So that was seed to seal. Next, what do I use these oils for and how do I use them? So there are three ways to use these oils. You can use it aromatically in a diffuser. I don't know if you can see one behind me, but there is a diffuser behind me. Um, you can use it also, if you put it in your hands and you breathe it in, that's um, using it aromatically as well. You can also use it topically. Um, in a roller like this, or you could use it straight out of the bottle, depending on the oil. So some oils are hot oils that maybe um, may not feel as comfortable on the skin without dilution. So some of the process, learning process of using these essential oils is really um, learning what works for your body. And everyone's different. I can put peppermint on my temples and be perfectly fine. I actually love it. Some people might want to dilute it. So that's part of the learning process, but you can use it topically. P.S. Those oils that I bought on Amazon, I would have never considered putting it on my skin. The skin is the largest organ in your body. Everything goes into your bloodstream through the skin. And um, I didn't know that you could do that. I wouldn't have even considered that. But with Young Living, because I know that these oils are pure, tested, you know, the real deal. I am totally fine. I love, I put oils on my body all day long. And the third way to use it is to ingest it. There are only certain oils that you can ingest and Young Living 
um, labels them with a white label. So I don't know if you can see, but these white labels indicate that they um, can be ingested. Young Living is the only essential oils company that actually um, the FDA says you can go and tell people you can ingest the oils. Um, so that's kind of a big deal. And when, when it comes to ingesting oils, it's probably the, I mean, I use it topically the most aromatically second. Ingesting, I don't do it a lot. I feel like you need to ingest with purpose. You can't just be like chugging oils, you know? <laughs> um, so, and you can ingest it either with a drop under your tongue, maybe in some tea or water, or um, in a capsule. So you can buy empty veggie capsules from Young Living and put in a little carrier oil, like olive oil in there and some essential oil, and you can take it just like you take your vitamins. Um, so those are the three ways. And I use um, these oils for both physical health and emotional health. So when it comes to physical health, it could be anything from just, you know, immunity, protecting our immune system, keeping it strong, respiratory support. Respiratory support could range anything from if there's an actual like illness where you need extra respiratory support or if you have any sort of seasonal um, allergies and whatnot, uh, skin support. So, um, like some people might use it for like anti-aging, just supporting their skin, helping it stay healthy, or some people might have real skin conditions that they might use it for. Um, skeletal muscular, so any sort of joints, muscles, aches, pains, um, digestion, which is a big one for me and sleep, which is also another big one for me. And with sleep, sleep I think is a physical thing, but also it helps our emotional state. If we don't sleep well, we are an emotional mess, at least I am. Um, till this day, like my, my family's like scared of me if I don't sleep well. <laughs> um, so then I also use this for emotional purposes. I use it for clarity and focus. I use it to calm me during stressful times. Um, for a sense of confidence, just it kind of lifts your spirits, and also for creativity. Some of these oils just help you think and kind of get those gears turning a little bit better. So um, I use these oils in so many ways, all day, every day. And some of these oils in the starter kit, here, let me get them out so you guys can see them. So there are 10 oils here up top, and then when you go to the bottom compartment, if you have the kit already and you're new to it, you may not know that there is a bottom compartment. So in total, there's 12 oils. Um, I'm not going to run through every single oil and tell you what they're for, but I will tell, I will go by, um, you know, certain uses and what oils can be good for that use. So the first thing is immunity. Um, for me, immunity is important because I have one child in preschool, which is a complete cesspool of germs usually, and another kid in elementary school. Um, and I want them to be in school. I want them to be healthy. I want them to be able to be the best version of their, themselves in school. So every day we put on our immunity oils. Um, immunity oil, Thieves is the main one. And as you can see, this has a white label, so it can actually be ingested. But what I do for my kids is I put a few drops of thieves in a roller and they put a carrier oil and they put it on the bottoms of their feet before they put their socks on. Um, another immunity oil that's in the starter kit that's great is frankincense. So I could add a few drops of frankincense in their thieves roller. Also you can diffuse either of those oils. Um, and both of them are actually ingestible. Even though frankincense has a non-white label, their Young Living does sell frankincense with the white label which means it's ingestible and it's the same oil regardless of the actual label color. As long as that white label exists, that means that oil is ingestible. Um, another way to use these oils is respiratory support. So during the season changes, and my son actually has this diffusing in his room right now as he sleeps, um, lavender, lemon, and peppermint. Not only is it good for seasonal support, it makes your room smell like a spa. So Colin's room right now smells legit like a real spa, which is fantastic. Um, and another respiratory support oil is Raven. This one we bring out when, you know, 
the respiratory needs are a little bit greater. Um, as soon as someone, you know, displays even the earliest signs of a cold, I start diffusing like crazy all over the house. I get my thieves out for immunity. I get the raven out for the respiratory needs and all of that. Um, so I really like these oils because I kind of just have them here to use them as needs arise. I don't have to worry about the fact that three-year-olds are not supposed to take cough medicine. Well, I don't even give my seven-year-old cough medicine because we've got these oils. Um, you know, and with medicine, if you notice, I mean, everything is very specific, like, oh, the dosage is this, you might overdose, don't give them any more than this. And with oils, as long as you use them generally in moderation, and it's kind of different for every person, so you experiment, there's really no harm it's doing to your body. It can only help. So the next one is um, skin. There's so many oils that are great for skin in the starter kit, but um, lavender is a huge one. People always think of lavender just as that calming one, but you don't realize lavender is good for so many things in our physical health, for respiratory health and for skin health. Um, frankincense also, I mentioned that during the immunity um, when I was talking about immunity, but it's excellent for skin, anti-aging, anti-scarring. Um, my child broke out in hives. I still don't know what she's allergic to, but like three times last year, she broke out in hives and I just like slapped some frankincense on it and it, she immediately doesn't feel that irritation. It's really, really amazing. Benadryl takes longer to kick in than this frankincense that you put right on. So forget about Benadryl, I use the frank. Um, and also lemon is great for skin, but with citrus oils, you have to know that they're photosensitive, which means you cannot put citrus oils on your skin and then spend a day out in the sun and go to the beach. You will see a reaction on your skin. However, if you put it on at night, let's say you have some acne or whatever, and you put some on night, by morning, it's fine. You can go out and do your thing. Um, but it's really great, great skin oil. And peppermint, so peppermint, again, like when my daughter had the hives and whatnot, um, Oh no, my son also once had an allergic reaction of some sort. I put some peppermint diluted on to kind of give that cooling feeling to take that itchiness away. So peppermint can also be skin supportive in that way, but it is a hot oil. So especially with children, I encourage you dilute. Um, another way to use them, skeletal muscular issues. And for that, peppermint's also great for that. So peppermint, if you've noticed, I noticed, I mentioned it for respiratory. I've mentioned it for skin and now muscles. Um, so if you dilute it and give your muscles a little massage, it's great. But what's the oil that is really created by Young Living as a blend to help that is called Panaway. So if you dilute some Panaway and give yourself a massage, I always point to my neck because I have like chronic neck pain, right? And just give yourself a massage. It feels amazing and it really targets the source of the issue. It doesn't mask it the way it would if you took like, you know, a Tylenol. Um, so I am a big fan of these like muscle massages. You can even make yourself a roller and just roll it on too. So Panaway and peppermint for that digestion. We've got, again, peppermint. Peppermint is like everything. Um, peppermint is great for digestion as well. You could take it in a capsule. You could drink it in some water. You could rub it on your tummy. But the um, oil that Young Living designed to target digestive issues is Digize. And Digize is a fan favorite in a strange way. Um, generally, most people don't find the smell too pleasing, but everyone who's used it to aid in their digestive issues rave about it. So there's a couple ways you could use it. So first, you could take it internally. Um, you can put it in a capsule and take it. You can I just put it directly under my tongue, but it is a little spicy. Um, or you can put it in some water and sip it. Uh, but that is probably my least favorite way to do it. Also, you could just massage your tummy. So kids most likely will not want to ingest this. So what you would do is you would take some carrier oil, put a drop or two of Digize, probably just one drop because it's a little bit of a hot oil, and then rub their bellies. And you could do that for yourself too. That's not just for kids. For adults who would prefer to apply it topically, you could do that as well. And you will notice that your digestive 
issues, whatever type of digestive issue it is, it will clear up. It's happened to me so many times. Um, so that's for digestion. What else did I mention earlier? Sleep, sleep oils. So we've got lavender, which I think most people could have guessed because, you know, commercially lavender is used a lot for calming and sleep. But this lavender, a lot of the stuff that you buy commercially in stores are probably synthetic lavender, which is actually not good for you. It can disrupt your endocrine system. Um, it's just not a good thing. But this is straight up pure from the plant, 100%. So this is safe for everything. This is great for sleep. Another great, the two oils that are on the bottom compartment of your starter kit are excellent sleep oils, stress away and peace and calming. They are the best. I like putting peace and calming in a diffuser, but you can also put it on the bottoms of your feet. I personally love putting stress away on my wrist. Again, these are not things you have to do. These are just what things that I do, but if you don't want to put stress away on your wrist and put it on the bottom of your feet, cool. If you want to just put it in the diffuser, that's okay too. So um, there's just so many different ways to use them, but these are great sleep oils. What else do I have here? Frankincense could also be really calming too, but it depends. That's, um, for me, I like it, but some may just want to prefer to stick to like peace and calming and stress away, or some might like stress away in lavender, or some might like just stress away. Either way, great sleep oils. Um, and then, so we can move on to the emotional stuff. For emotional stuff, for focus and clarity, it surprises some people, but lavender is really great for focus because it grounds you and it kind of draws you in. It really helps people focus. So use some lavender the next time um, you or your children or whoever kind of seem all over the place. Actually, was it yesterday? What day is it today? Today's Thursday. So on Tuesday, my son had a um, OT appointment and I put some lavender on him because he had seasonal allergies and I didn't have the triple combo of lavender, lemon, and peppers. I just put some lavender on him, but I also realized in doing that, I kind of helped him with the focus. So he actually had really great sessions, um, therapy sessions on Tuesday. <laughs> um, so that was like a double whammy. So another good thing, I think some citrus oils can also help kind of clear the mind. So there's citrus fresh, and there's lemon. I feel like that just kind of like lifts you up, gives you this wonderful sense of being, and it can really help you with focus as well. Um, and Citrus Fresh is actually known to kind of bring out people's creativity. So if you're doing something like creative writing or maybe some sort of artistic thing or, you know, whatnot, this might not be such a bad thing to diffuse, you know? Um, what else? So emotionally stress. Stress is just a part of life, but, and there's no way to get rid of stress in your life. I mean, how do you live there? You know, things happen, but we can always use our oils to help ourselves manage it. So stress away, obviously from the name. I put stress away on, I mean, on my really tough days, I put stress away on all day. I'm going to put some on right now just because I like the smell of it. Do I have any in here? I do. Um, I love stress away, but also peace and calming is a good one to help combat stress, especially in children. Um, my daughter has peace and calming going in her um, nighttime diffuser right now. Another great stress, I mean, there's so many great ones for stress and calming here. Valor, Valor balances our energy. So when we're feeling off equilibrium, this can actually help us, our energies balance. And it gives us a sense of self-confidence and it um, gives us courage. It's a fantastic oil. Um, frankincense is also another emotional powerhouse. This people often use this for anti-anxiety and um, depression. Uh, just overall, like when you're feeling overwhelmed. I mean, I love frankincense. I have to smell all of them when I talk about it. I don't know. They just smell really good. Um, another one I mentioned a little while ago was the citrus oils because it's really uplifting. It can really help you with the stress as well. And even peppermint. Peppermint's a pick-me-up. It can just kind of pick you up when you're feeling down. So, and obviously lavender. Lavender is fantastic. Um, so those are some stress and calming oils. What else do I have here? I think I covered all the oils more or less. I mean, 
if I were to talk about these oils, I could go on for, you know, forever because there's just so many amazing things about them. But that's the general gist of it. Physical health, emotional health. Um, and these oils just rock. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's it. I kept the class to about 30 minutes, which is fantastic. I hope it gave you a great overview on how these oils work and why they are different. I think that's the most important thing. They are different from what you'll find. And actually, someone just told me yesterday. Oh, one of my friends, she has Young Living Oils, but I guess she like her friend got her some like cheaper oils. And she said she diffused it and it literally smelled like nothing because that stuff's so diluted. So get the pure stuff, get the good stuff in your life. You know, this would just only benefit your family and your health. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in, Isa, Kimberly, Natasha, all the way from Guam. Oh my gosh. And for those of you watching the replay, thank you so much as well. Um, and I'll catch you guys, or you guys, not you specifically, but the others, maybe on the West Coast at 11 p.m. our time. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll try to post this. Okay, bye. Have a good night.